So today on Try This at Home, we're going to be showing you how to add an external antenna, or actually two external antennas, to our Belkin Share router, which this would be the same if it's a Share or a Share Max. They both have pretty much the same internals. So the first thing you're going to want to do, flip the thing over, and we'll disassemble it. There's two screws, one here and one under here. Now, on this particular router, they're Phillips. On some routers, such as a Share Max, I just recently did this to, their uh, Torx security bit, which I don't know if there's any chance of you seeing that on the camera, but it was a T8 with the hole in the end. You can pick up a whole set of those at Harbor Freight or a store like that uh, very cheaply. So grab yourself whatever screwdriver you're going to need and start disassembling. Your next step is going to be prying the case apart. Now there's several ways you could do this. Um, there's clips here, here, and two down there, and a couple in the front. So you can work through and pry around them, but it can be hard to find. So the other option is brute force and ignorance. So as we know, that always works out good, especially with electronics. Now that you're inside of the router, you'll notice we've got two wires. This one here, which is going to the upper antenna, and this one here, it's going to the lower antenna. So, next thing you're going to want to do is take your cover and drill some holes in the approximate locations of the endings of those wires. So I'd put one in this corner and one in this corner. Or I suppose you could do them both down here. Either way will work. So, okay, so now we've drilled holes the proper size for the connectors we're using. You could use a um, BNC style connector, I believe it's called BNC or TNC, the uh, type that's normally used on uh, a uh, router's external antennas, but I'm going to be using an F connector because they're easy to find and very cheap available. So ideally you should be using a bulkhead receptacle of uh, whatever you've got, but um, I've just got barrel connectors. You can do it this way, it just is a little more finicky and a little tougher to solder. Then grab yourself the nuts that came with those connectors and connect them on the back. Once those are good and sugged down, you can see kind of what the outside of your router is going to look like. The next step is going to be disconnecting these from in here. If I can get somewhere good where you can see. Now note that there's two pieces of the wire that are connected. There's the um, ground around the outside of the wire and then the actual signal cable or signal wire inside the shielding. Okay, so once your soldering iron's warmed up, just go ahead and remove each of the um, antennas from where it's connected to. It's best done by heating up the uh, ground spot where the ground is soldered on and uh, removing that first so then you can heat up the tip and pull it out. So after you've got wires connected, I've got orange and blue going into the center and black coming out to be attached to the grounds. So after you've got that all connected up, you can go ahead and solder them on to their respective places. Center, of course, being the tip of the shielded thing and the ground being back where the ground was attached. So. Just go ahead and solder that together.
once you've got these soldered together, you're going to want to do something to reinforce your solder connections, especially in a, a situation like mine where there's just, you know, tiny little bits of wire and things. So some hot glue or some black tape or ideally kind of a combination of both um, would be good just to make sure that these aren't going to break as you're reassembling the router. So go ahead and uh, decide what you're going to do and then after you've uh, done that, come back and we'll get into reassembly. Okay, so now with your um, wires reinforced so they're not going to break off or come out, um, reassemble it. Now one thing to make sure of is make sure your wires are in the right place going to the right connection so that it'll just drop back together just like that. Now, once that's done, keep in mind the upper antenna in the DDWRT interface will be right, this one will be left. At least that's my finding so far with the routers I've done this to. So, you can put your bottom case back on and connect your router, or connect your uh, antennas to your router. Um, use whatever antenna you choose. Um, I've used a biquad, I've used a cantana, um, other things just run in uh, RG6 or RG59 out to uh, whatever you're connecting it to. So that's pretty much it. And uh, if you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, need help with the project, um, leave us a comment or post on our forums. Thanks for watching. So, so, you're going to want to insert those into your thing, case, insert the connectors into the case, that's going to be a fun one in editing.